And we are taking a look at the security measures in place at the Salt Lake Airport touring the Emergency Operations Center. This comes after a one week after a man died there. He illegally accessed a, a, a dicing pad and entered a plane's engine. Our ABC 4's Jonathan May heard from officials at the airport today and reports. I would just say on that front, from a personal perspective, it's a real terrible human tragedy uh, and someone who obviously was uh, having a very challenging moment in their lives that, that led to something that no one wanted to see. From a security perspective, the airport says the technology worked well here on New Year's Day. Here in the control center, they are nearly equipped with 4,000 high-speed cameras and staff constantly looking for anything they need to check out. Being able to find him, identify him, uh, locate him within 10 minutes is really pretty extraordinary. Locating him quick, since each door will sound an alarm if they feel the force of someone trying to open them without a badge. And crews here will know what door it is. So when the alarm goes off, the folks in the control center know exactly uh, where this is and they're able to dispatch uh, very precisely. The airport says Effinger ended up running to the south end of the airport's west runway and crawled into an aircraft engine that was not running. First responders performed life-saving efforts, but he died on scene. In the new airport, and as I said, we've had 70 million passengers in this facility, and here we've had this one incident. So, serious? Uh, yeah, you don't want uh, civilians wandering around on the airfield. Again, that was ABC4's Jonathan May reporting. We thank you, Jonathan.